Hello, lovely people of the world. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Magandang araw sa inyong Ahlan o sahlan. This is Justin. Sarah. And the kids are at... Day home. That's right. <laughs> It's the only time we could film. So yes, um, first of all, our apologies for the previous video. We did not mean to make it clickbait. We honestly thought we were prepared to share it and sort of backed out at the last minute. So today, as promised, um, we are going to share the big change uh, that's going to happen in our family. So there were a number of guesses in the comment section. You no want to talk about those? Okay, so the top three guesses that I noticed um, were number one, that we were moving. Number two, that we're pregnant. We're pregnant. I'm pregnant. And number three, that his parents started to come forward what come, around. come around um because for those of you who don't know us and our story and if you're new to our channel basically um he has his parents never accepted me to become his wife um despite the fact that i am now happily married to him and i am and that we have two beautiful daughters together they refuse to even visit um their granddaughters so that's pretty much one of the family dramas behind our story. Um, oh yeah, and my father, who's abroad, also did not accept Justin to be my husband, but we got married anyway. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, for those of you who are new to our channel, hi! And uh, yeah, basically, we don't, we don't put out videos as often. <laughs> it's like, a lot of people try to plug, like, yeah, we put out videos once a week. It's like, we're parents to like really small toddlers and uh, we're busy he works full-time I also am employed full-time uh, so yeah we're just busy and we're we appreciate uh, our YouTube families out there who are very supportive and understanding thank you guys so much we really will do our best to put out as many videos as we possibly can considering the time that we have left we're spending quality time with the family so thank you for understanding all right so, firstly, um, we're not moving, that's, yeah, we're not moving, not anytime soon, at least not in the next five years. We're locked in with the mortgage <laughs> to this house. <laughs> we're stuck. To, to break the mortgage early means paying penalty and I'm not gonna do that. Yes, and so far our family of four, um, we fit quite cozily and comfortably in this beautiful home. Always messy, but always loud and fun. <laughs> so that's good. Um, and then also, let's talk about your parents. Did they come around? No, <laughs> they did not. Okay. Last time that my parents or my dad and I had any interaction was Christmas time around of last year, which is 2021. So I sent a photo album of the kids mm. to my dad. There was like a 30 photos that I printed from Walmart and I sent it as a physical photo album. I mailed it. I haven't heard back anything from him, so I didn't get an acknowledgement that he got it, but I assume he got it. And that's the last of any kind of interaction I had with my dad. And with my mom and my sister, no other interaction with them. Since forever? Yeah. <sighs> So yeah, um, your dad has not reached out with a letter about receiving the album this time around. He hasn't reached out with a phone call either. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think I tried to ask Justin a few times whether he would like to go visit his family. I mean, his parents and his sister who literally live just like five minutes away, you guys. <laughs> And then he told me, what's the point? They don't seem to care about him and his new life and his new family. And they don't seem to check up on him anymore. And yeah, like he feels like he's done everything he could in his power. And I strongly believe that he did as well. Um, at least within the respectful balance of like um, respecting their privacy and their decision. Because... If they are refusing to see their grandkids, we are not inclined to force them by showing up at their door unannounced with our beautiful daughters <laughs> and say, yo, these are your grandkids that you didn't want to see. Look how cute they are. That was kind of 
and like in our minds like should we do that and then we finally at least Justin came to terms with like no nah, there's no point um they're just gonna end up uh disappointing him and breaking the girl's heart so maybe not just yet we'll wait until a time such a time comes when either his parents come around and reach out or until our daughters get to that age or they're gonna ask hey dad where are your parents Oh, they're like five minutes away. <laughs> Do you want to go see them? Because they don't want to see you. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Like, it, we, we haven't yet planned or s discussed, like, how that would unfold. But we still have years to go. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the big change. Let's get to the point now. change is coming to our family is basically what you guys don't know is that Sabrina our oldest um, who is about three more than three and a half years old right now she was born with an extra bone to each of her foot is that correct English yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, and the bone is not visible, um, but then when she's walking, we notice that she's um, sort of sensing some discomfort. Um, so we had her visit a pediatric surgeon. Actually, the, the our family doctor referred the pediatric surgeon to us. And then we took her in, and then the surgeon assessed and examined her, took some x-rays, and found that she did have an extra bone, um, and that he said that it may not bother her right now as much as it would later down the road but he he recommend he advised us that it's best to surgically remove that bone so that she does not have to worry about wearing any special footwear later down the road because that would mean that you know she can't just go shopping with her friends and hey let's get some new shoes or um maybe wear her favorite pair of shoes that she'd like to purchase or whatnot you know so um, and also it's more expensive to get like a special medical like orthotic shoe, right? So yeah, he recommended it at her young age. It's best to surgically remove those extra bones and Yeah, that's basically the big change for us is because none of us has ever gone through surgery or ever gone under uh, the influence of anesthesia <laughs> Or did you mean anesthesia? Anesthesia. <laughs> I cannot pronounce it. <laughs> say it. Anesthesia. Anesthesia. <laughs> how, do you, how do you say that? Anes. Anesthesia. 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 <laughs> okay. So, none of us has ever gone under. See, now we're comfortable talking about it. But, like, earlier on the previous video, we were just still kind of shaken up and uh, just emotional. At least I was an emotional wreck. <clears throat> Choking up about it. So, yeah. Um... We, I personally am worried about the fact that she's a little girl and she has to undergo surgery and it's like, oh, like, how's that going to work? Of course, the surgeon was really kind and really compassionate about like, don't worry, we do this all the time with little kids. I'm getting choked up. He continued talking. I think our girl is going to be fine. She's going to rock through the surgery and she's going to rock through the recovery. And she's gonna be running around as soon as she can. <laughs> She'll be um, chair bounded for about four weeks, but after that, I think she'll be fine. Can I get a tissue? Ah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I mean, um, my most recent surgery that I had was the wisdom tooth or wisdom teeth removal and I did go on there for that surgery I'm sorry, recent? How old were you? Oh, I was like 22 at the time <coughs> It's only 24 now <laughs> <laughs> I just turned legal age, I can drink now I can drink now! <laughs> oh, that's funny Yeah, so I went under um, anesthesia and I... You got it I woke up from it just fine so 
hopefully uh, Sabrina would have the same experience that she's gonna wake up from it just fine yeah and everyone we know nurses families friends they all say it's completely safe and because of her young age she's just gonna bounce right back and that yeah and then advancement in technology she's gonna be just fine the reason I'm extra scared about anesthesia well, first of all, I never needed it. <laughs> Even epidural, I never needed it when giving birth. Um, never underwent surgery in my life. And um, I had a childhood friend um, who actually was going for surgery. I think it was going to be like a liposuction um, kind of procedure. It was her first time to go under the knife um, and under anesthesia, and she never woke up. So, yeah, basically she just she was pronounced dead right then and there on the surgical table. Um, it kind of affected us to the core because we we're like, she's so young, she's so young, she's younger than us. Um, so yeah, and it really broke our hearts. Um, so yeah, that's part of my fear right now. I'm like, will Sabrina wake up? So yeah, please pray for us. <laughs> Excuse my emotions. Hopefully she will be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Yeah. So basically her surgery, um, a funny story. <laughs> it was actually scheduled for late August. And then now it had to be postponed because she got sick. Why did she get sick? Because I got sick. <laughs> Why did he get sick? Because I went to the office. <laughs> so yeah, he went to the office just for one day. Literally not even a whole day. What was it, like six hours? Yeah, I, I usually work from home. But that one day I had to go to the office. Um, it's something that I can only do at the office. So I went there. And three or four days later, I started having cough and runny nose and sore throat. And a week later, Sabrina got it. So all of us got sick. But it was kind of our fault. I mean, at least I feel it might be partly my fault why Sabrina got sick. Because we all decided to go to the beach, um, which is about an hour and a half drive from here. <laughs> um, and you know, like we we know she loves the beach, and that she's only ever been to the beach once before in her lifetime. So we're like, yeah, it's the summer. Let's let's go take her to the beach. And Chanel too. It'll be her first beach experience. Um, we noticed, I think, thirty minutes into her being in the water, Sabrina started to shiver. She was getting chills, and I was like, oh no, stay under the water, because <laughs> you know when you expose your wet skin to like the air and uh, the wind and the breeze like you're just gonna freeze so I was like stay under the water stay under the water and she kept trying to stand up and she's like Ooh. so I was like signaling Justin I was like honey can you go get the towel she's freezing um I didn't feel the water was cold but it's so weird it's kind of like um when you reach a certain depth it starts to get colder closer to the shore it was warmer so yeah, I didn't realize that until we decided, yo, we need to take her out of this water now. And as we were leaving the actual water, we're like, oh, look at that. The water got warmer. <laughs> so yeah, I feel it was partly my fault because she didn't have, like, she, first of all, her head was wet. Her hair was wet and everything. I didn't put a hat on her. And not like, Serena, as like a younger, her first time ever in the beach, I think she was what, six months? Eight months. She was tiny and we had... The whole gear on her she had like full full length swimsuit she was on an actual flotation device she had a sun hat on she had sunscreen on she was like fully covered fully protected and then now we have two girls and they're like screw it her sunscreen get in the water <laughs> so she was actually she was shivering um so we had to cut our trip to the beach short so we're gonna come back here Sabrina, where are we? Where are you? Are you at the beach? You like the beach? Sabrina, are you at the beach? Stay under the water, you feel... And not only that, we also ended up getting sick after that. So, yeah, because of her illness or her sickness, 
and all of us honestly not being at all in the best health uh, we couldn't possibly expose ourselves to everyone at the hospital we might even contract something from the hospital because of our lower weakened immune system so yeah we had to postpone her surgery her surgery is actually scheduled now for next week and I don't feel as nervous this time as I did the last time I re we recorded um, a video yeah so hopefully we're more prepared mentally emotionally physically we're not allowed to go to the beach <laughs> until the surgery is done but yeah we're prepared so we're planning to send our one-year-old to day home as usual Chanel. right and then we're gonna keep Sabrina at home until she can walk again yeah. after the surgery um, surgeon said to expect her to not walk or bear any weight to her legs for two weeks up to two weeks he says and then she needs to stay home for another two weeks um, until her wounds heal we will be continuously changing the dressings around her feet. luckily we have a nurse right here so it's different though when it's your own family member and you have your emotions involved all of a sudden you're like whatever you've learned or experienced in life just goes out the window <laughs> and then you're overtaken with this overwhelming fear and uh, and doubt as a mom you know it's like oh my gosh am I doing this right so who knows who knows how it's gonna go and yeah, we're gonna be sent home with some dressing changes yeah. uh, supplies yeah supplies so we're gonna have to <laughs> change your dressing ourselves I had to buy her some new crocs we never own crocs we don't know how to wear crocs actually he knows <laughs> he's worn crocs you have right yeah. what is that water shoe <laughs> <laughs> just a shoe by the door yeah never worn crocs never understood how to enjoy wearing them um but yeah our surgeon suggested that we get one for her that's a bigger size because it's wider and it will protect her feet from sort of accidentally hitting hard surfaces so yes um we will hopefully be able to film on that day um so tune in for our next video which would hopefully be um sabrina's surgery day right mm -hmm. yeah we'll see how much we could film because i mean it is still a hospital so they might decide that we're not allowed to film but we will at least film our experience and our journey going there and leaving so yeah please pray for us pray for sabrina um send us all your healing vibes and well wishes we always always appreciate it when you share your love and support in the comment section below I mean, even though we may not have time to respond to you guys, trust me, we read every single one of your comments. Good and bad. <laughs> so yes, again, our apologies for the clickbait video last time. As I explained earlier in the video, we did not intend for it to be clickbait. We honestly were just about to share the news and then panicked at the last minute. And we're like, yeah, I know we're not ready. I mean, you saw how emotional I got. I couldn't. But yeah, this time, this was actually pretty good. Okay, so that's the big news that we were planning to share. We love you. We love you, your YouTube families, our love with standards. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time. Thank you for your patience. Love you.